This is the very first look at the Fab Arm Autumn. Haven't seen a beautiful side-by-side -side for a good long while. This was designed by Wes Lang of Cesar Guarini and Fab Arm for the United States market. As you can tell, high-grade wood, beautiful high-grade wood. Very nice case coloring. Extremely high-polished blue. Uh, this is the only one in the country with a pistol grip. My understanding is, is that the initial shipments all sold out to dealers. Some dealers may, may have one. Um, uh, essentially all of them were English style, straight stock, no pistol grip. So this is the only one with a pistol grip. More on the way. Of course, uh, things are a little slow this year. Getting things out and getting things through customs, shipping, everything's slow, as we all know. So, my personal problem with English style bus stocks and splinter forearms is that I can rarely hit anything with it, and that's kind of the idea. Some people do real well with it. Um, both the, the beaver tail and the English stock. Uh, styles are going to be available as well as uh, under consideration for some time next year. I think you'll probably see double trigger models. This is a single selective trigger and uh, probably sometime next year uh, 28 gauge as well. Now, I just picked this up. I haven't had a chance to weigh it. It's not a very heavy gun, I can tell you that. As far as the balance, the balance is very, very nice. Actually, it's right at uh, right at the hinge area. So, beautifully balanced gun. Tri-bore barrels, as you're probably familiar with. And I don't know if I can hit anything with this thing or not, so let me grab some uh, 7 8 ounce target loads and we'll try. Fits me a lot better than any straight stock side by side, that's for sure. We'll break a couple more and I'll give you a look at the ejection. Not much of a problem. Let's take a look at the ejection because that's always uh, an issue. This is nice clean ejection. It's a four lug design. The internals have been changed, but as far as the technical details um, from the classic fab arm that was uh, released, I think in the 90s, um, I have no idea of all the dimensional and, and internal changes. The triggers are nice and crisp. There's uh, essentially no take up. The face of the trigger is knurled. And this model, anyway, does not have a self resetting safety. So that safety did not reset, which is what I prefer. Now, whether this is true for all the models, uh, I would uh, certainly check with your Fab Arm dealer. Recoil isn't at all an issue with these 7 8 sounds, 1200 foot per second target loads. With ounce and a quarter loads, I believe these are three inch chambers. Uh, it may well be because you've got the classic checkered walnut buttstock. Looks great, but myself, even though this is uh, classic and traditional, as is a side by side for that matter, I would probably go with a, uh, a thin English pad, re uh, a small, tasteful recoil pad instead of just uh, walnut on the shoulder. Of course, it depends on what type of hunting and shooting you're going to do. If you're talking about quail, 
or uh, woodcock or something like that, uh, target loads is all you'd use anyway. That's all you need. Seems to swing pretty well, nice and smooth. Nice balance. Nice balance. Nice balance, nice, nice swing. Good ejection. As far as the ability to carry, uh, I think this will carry quite nicely. Thankfully, you've got good purchase here on the, the Tang safety. A lot of the Beretta safeties are really slick, and that, all that does is uh, save evil communist uh, roosters' uh, lives. Unintended pheasant con uh, conservation, which we don't want. This one is uh, very, very slightly on the stiff side, just a little bit. Most people probably like it just as is. I might have it loosened up just slightly for colder weather when I'm wearing gloves, so it knocks off a, a little bit easier. I don't know what you call it. I guess it's kind of a swamp rib in the center. Of course, I'm not looking at the rib when I'm shooting at all, but uh, it is a, a distinct swamp rib and uh, classic nickel bead. One of those things, if you go with the classic look, um, you certainly don't want silver extended ported choke tubes. That's one of the problems with a lot of the early side-by-sides that were screw choked is there's the short stubby, there's a short stubby invector or wind chokes, and that gave you a very unsightly bulged barrel appearance. Well, with the longer excess tubes of the Fab Arm uh, 20 gauge, you can see there's, uh, since they're very, very long tubes, you don't have that pronounced bulge that you do with uh, some of the earlier screw choked guns. And as the case with all Fab Arm tubes, uh, all fab arm constrictions, designations, all the way up to uh, extra full, 1010, they're all rated for, for steel and tungsten. So you can shoot what you want through it. Any choke, pick the pattern you want at the distance you shoot, and away you go. So I'll get a weight on it, and I'll measure the triggers uh, when I get back home. The triggers, I think, are around four pounds, maybe a little bit lighter, but there's almost uh, zero take up, which is excellent. And I can tell you, it's a 50 50 shooting gun. It's basically on a rising bird, cover the bird like those last two, and watch it explode. So. This is just my first impressions of it, but it really is a beautiful gun. No question about it. When Wes Lang gets involved, he tends to make guns uh, keepers. Really worth owning. And even though this is a beaver tail, it's a slim trim beaver tail. You know, the history of the, of the splinter forearm uh, is you don't grip the forearm with the traditional splinter. You just grab your hand around the barrels and away you go. And they are big barrels if you're talking about the old 12 gauges, big pipes. But here you're not going to touch the barrels. 
you've got plenty of grip, but it is a, a beaver style forearm, but nicely done, nice and svelte. And this wood is just knockout wood. I'm telling you, that is, that's just, that's just gorgeous wood. You'll never get tired of looking at that. So that's the first look. Um, like I believe I mentioned, I think Fab Arm USA is sold out of everything that they had, uh, sold to dealers. So uh, whatever dealers have is what they have. I don't think Fab Arm has any in stock currently, but more are on the way. So I would expect uh, within a couple weeks, middle of December, um, they'll have uh, a resupply and uh, it'll be full speed ahead for next year. So, beautiful gun. If you're a side-by-side -side aficionado, um, you're probably going to love it. I think MR MSRP on this model is $39.95. And as far as I know, they all come with uh, beautiful oil-finished high-grade wood and super high-polished blue. So, very tasteful. Just a... Oh, this is a gun. Uh, as long as you like this style of firearm, I think anybody would be, would be proud to own it, proud to carry it. So that's it for the moment. We'll see you later.